Hi, I'm Janie, and this is Journey with Janie Hypnotherapy on YouTube. Welcome. I'd like to take you on a journey now, a journey far and away, so far in fact that you're no longer in this body. You're no longer in this time, this space. Perhaps, maybe you're not even on this planet any longer. I want you to be able to imagine, consider that there's so much more to your experience as a soul. So much more that you're not consciously remembering. Perhaps it's designed that way, so that you can be very present and very involved in this journey that you're on right now. The journey of who you are at this very moment. in this lifetime. But what if, what if there have been other lifetimes? Just what if you have been other people in other times, other places, perhaps other universes? What if, you know, our subconscious mind holds so much, so much for us, an unimaginable, vast, endless library. Imagine all that is in that library and all that you can access through the subconscious realm. So I'd like to take you on a journey now, a hypnotic one, yes, a deeply spiritual one, if you like. I'd like to take you on a journey away from this body, this mind, this consciousness. you like that? Good. Then let's get comfortable. And just make sure that your head, neck, and shoulders are well supported. And well aligned. And take a very deep Deep breath for me. That's right. Just start with that very simple breath. And if you'd like, you can focus right here on the balls of light. Representing different lifetimes. And in each lifetime, all the little lights that represent the stages of growth, transformation. We know one thing for sure. As a soul, you have come so far. You have grown so much just in this lifetime alone, that much is true. Good. 
So focus on the sound of my voice. You're already beginning to notice that something is shifting, something is changing. And it is. You're already beginning to drift into the hypnotic state. You see, just by listening to my voice, setting the intention that you are going to go into a hypnotic trance, you're already drifting there, you're already going there. Good. It's exactly what I'd like you to do now. It's just let go. Just let go. Just let go. Now at any time, if you'd like to begin to close your eyes, you can do that. Or you can keep your eyes open. You can achieve a very deep trance with your eyes open. Staring right here, right here. Right into the light. And right into my eyes. Good. You see that? Already drifting deeper now, and deeper now, and deeper now. There you go. That's right. And let it go. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just let it go. I want you to notice that whether your eyes are open or closed, that something is shifting. Your awareness is changing. In a way, it's as if you are more awakened than you were just a moment ago. Everything seems clearer to you. Your senses are heightened. That's right. That's because you are going into the hypnotic state. You are dropping into that subconscious realm, dropping. Dropping in, dropping. Are you noticing that your senses are heightened? My voice is crystal clear. And everything you're seeing, whether with your eyes open or closed, is very beautiful and visual and detailed. You might even notice that other senses are coming to the surface, the sense of touch, touch, that anything that might be pressing against your skin right now, you feel it even more than you did just a moment ago. You might notice that there's a flavor this very moment. You can taste it in your mouth. Good. And have you noticed a scent in the air? Any scent? Multiple scents? Yes, you're picking up on all of it now. It's wonderful. Sound, sight, touch, smell, taste, it's all there, taking you deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Now just let go, just let go, and follow my voice. Follow my voice, follow my voice. Draw your attention through the physical body. For you will be leaving it in just a moment, so wish it a farewell for just a short while. Send a loving message through your body and let it know you will be returning to it again. Just a very short while. But time will not be with us where we go. 
So you might experience time as being very short or very long. Will be whatever you make of it. Where we are going, time will not follow. So say goodbye to the physical body. And just know you will return soon. Very soon. You will return feeling rested, relaxed, and renewed. You will leave the body to just drift into a deeper, deeper comfort like that very much, very much. And now if your eyes are not yet closed, I'd like you to just imagine, imagine that if your eyes were closed, that you would be picturing in your mind a silver cord silver cord right at the center of your body. Silver cord. And with this next breath, draw the inhale in. Notice the cord. Feel it. Imagine it. Place it there for me now. Right at the center of your body. A silver cord like an umbilical cord. You will remember what that is like. Your soul remembers what it is like. I want you to allow it to be a silver cord, right there at the center of your body, right there at your belly. Good, very good. And with this next breath, draw it slowly, very slowly, all the way up to the crown of your head, and then down, down, down through the soles of your feet and out. Breathe in and breathe out slowly. As you inhale this time, I want you to feel your spiritual body break from the physical body and lift up just a few feet above the physical body. And as it breaks free, that silver cord will be attached to it. Your spiritual body and your physical body are attached by the silver cord attached by the silver cord. Good. And with the next exhale, draw that spiritual body back down into the physical body. Very good, you see. Very safe. You are always in control. You'll notice that the silver cord stretches as far as you ever could dream. And you'll notice that that same silver cord will also shrink down to the tiniest, tiniest length, bringing that spiritual body back into the physical at any time. Any time you are in control, you are in control, you are in control, you are in control, you are in control. Good. Let's do it again. This time I'd like your spiritual body to rise even higher even higher, all the way up to the ceiling with the next breath. As you draw that inhale in all the way up to the crown of your head, draw the spiritual body up, 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 up toward the 
ceiling, up toward the ceiling, all the way to the ceiling now, all the way to the ceiling now, all the way to the ceiling now, good, good, that's right, you're remembering that with the next breath, that silver cord will shrink down, shrink down, shrink down, bringing the spiritual body back into your physical. That's right, just like that. You see, you are in control. You are in control. Now you're ready to go even higher, travel even further. All the way, all the way up and through the ceiling. And so with this next breath, do just that. As I count you from zero to five, at five, lift the spiritual body through the ceiling, up and out. Zero, one, two, three, four, five all the way through the ceiling and out, there you go, and keep breathing, keep relaxing the physical body, dropping it deeper and deeper, heavier and heavier, letting go more and more, drift, drop, and let go, just let go, just let go. You're ready to go even further. You're already deep into a hypnotic state. Just follow my voice. Allow me to guide you even further now. Let go, let go, let go. All the way. All the way. Draw that inhale in. And feel the spiritual body break. Lifting up higher and higher higher and higher, all the way through the ceiling, up through the roof, and out, and out, and out, and out. Notice the heaviness of the physical body, so heavy, very heavy. Heavier every time I say the word. Heavy. 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 Good. Good. That's right. Just let go now. Just let go now. Just let go. Just let go. Look around from the spiritual eye. Notice what you see. Notice all of the details around this neighborhood that you're in now. Every car, every person, every tree, every rock, every rooftop, every body of water, just Continue to rise until you see every bit. Continue to rise until you see every detail. Every detail. Rise up and know that that spiritual cord, that silver cord is right there with you. Extending from the belly back into the physical body. You are safe and you are in control. 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 Higher now, higher now, follow my voice, lift up, higher now, you are safe here, 
just let go, just let go. As your physical body sinks in, into the cushion, in, into that safe, sweet space right here in this life, the spiritual body rises, and you're rising now so high, so high. You're rising now as high as the clouds, and through the clouds you move, and above the clouds is the next atmosphere, and you rise with the silver cord attached, and soon enough you are out, high enough now that the sky has changed its color. You are soaring higher than the birds, higher than the plains, higher than the clouds. You are breaking free all the way up. sky turns the deepest, deepest blue, and that blue turns to black, black, and you are clear up into that beautiful sky, and what a wonderful Wonderful feeling that is. And all around you are billions, trillions of stars. Beautiful stars all around you. Lights, little. far as your imagination can take you, as far as your eyes can see. And you're still very aware of that silver cord. It is stretched so far, still connected to your very relaxed body below. I want you to trust that this cord is so magical that you could break it at any moment, then it will form again when you are ready, that this cord will return you back to this physical body at just the precise moment you ask it to. This cord is magical so magical that you can break it right now and really set the soul free. You can break it and it will always remember how to bring you right back to this physical body at any moment. And as you are clear up into this beautiful universe, all the way up where the stars are shining bright. I want you to allow yourself to break the silver cord. Break it with the full understanding that the moment you wish to return back to this physical body, the silver cord will appear tunnel you right back in, safely, securely, at the precise moment you ask it to. This soul knows its way back to this body. It astral travels every night while you sleep, so it knows its way back 
very well. It knows its way back. Are you ready to cut the cord now? Are you ready to set yourself free? To truly journey? To journey wherever the soul wishes to take you? Okay. Good. I'd say you're ready. Now I'm going to count you from ten to zero. Each count, I want you to allow that silver cord to become smaller and smaller, thinner and thinner, so thin, like a tiny little thread, a thread that could be easily broken at the moment you're ready. So I want you to thin it out. Take it down to a tiny little thread. Tiny little thread. A thread that you will be able to easily break at the moment you choose to. At zero, let that be your moment. Let us do this together. Right here to guide and support you. I am right here to guide and support you. And so at ten is nine is eight, thinning the spiritual silver cord. Seven is six, thinner and thinner, and five like three. Four, thinner now. Three is two. So thin, so thin, so thin. Two is one. Are you ready to break it? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready. One is zero. Break the thread. Pull yourself now so that the thread comes completely broken and loose. It will come back the moment you ask it to. But you are now officially separated from this physical body in this lifetime. You are allowing your spiritual body to just float. To just go wherever it wishes to go. To show you whatever it wishes to show you. Whatever it wishes to show you. So you're allowing the journey now just to take you. And you're not sure where you're going, and that's okay. It's exactly where you should be right now. It's blissfully taking the journey of the unknown. Prepare to discover whatever it is that is about to come to you now. It is time to discover what else is stored right there, deep in the subconscious room. What other lives, perhaps? Where have you been? Who have you been? What other soul? have incarnated with you again and again in this lifetime they might be the opposite role that they were in another has your gender changed your passions and interests purpose that you are following on that lifetime path, this lifetime path, are they similar? Are 
are they very different? Are you ready to find out? Good. Then if you're ready, let us discover what this life, what this life has for you now. This life. This new life. Old life. Past life. Future life. Who is to know? For there is no time on this journey. You very well would be looking at a future lifetime. You very well might be looking at a past. Let yourself go where you go. See what you see. Discover what you discover. Ask all the questions and let them be answered for you. Let them be answered for you. This is your time. Good. And now in this space, I would like you to close your eyes and let yourself feel the sensation of floating, 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 floating. Safe, safe. You are safe. Safe. Follow my count. As you leave this time, this space, this lifetime, follow my count. With each count, feel yourself floating down. Floating down, 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 floating down, 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 floating down. Down towards a body that is yours. This body may be very different, likely will be very different than the one you have been used to. Floating down, down, into a new time, a new space. Down, down, to the planet you lived on, or will live on, past or future. You will soon discover what is waiting for you, what the soul would like to show you. You are trusting this journey at 20 as you drift down, drift down, drift down. At 19, let go, let go, let go. At 18, sink. Seventeen, you're safe, you're safe, you're safe, you're safe. Sixteen now, fifteen now, fourteen now, drifting now, drifting. Dropping. And you're feeling the awareness shifting. New thoughts. Distant memories are now coming to the surface more and more. Memories you haven't thought of in a very long time. As if you are just now catching the frequency on an AM radio. Tuning in now. Antennas are up. Tuning in to another lifetime. Those memories, those moments, those thoughts, feelings, 
those emotions of that lifetime are all starting to come in. A bit scrambled at first, quiet or muddled, but it is all coming clear with every count. And let it happen. Let it happen. Organically. Take your time, you're drifting down, closer to the body, dropping deeper and deeper. Fifteen is fourteen, sinking all the way. Thirteen, coming closer and closer, closer to that body, that body that you know, your soul knows. Those thoughts and emotions, those memories, everything is coming clear, it's coming in, you're tuning in, 13 is 12, let it happen, whatever is coming up, let it happen, whatever is coming up, let it happen, trust. Trust it Good. Down into the atmosphere. Closer to the body. Twelve is eleven. Eleven is the angel number. You are always guided and protected. Always guided and protected. Ten. Sink. Nine, draw, drift, let go. That eight, sink, 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 sink. And feel the balance as you float down, float down, float down. The balance of where you've been and where you're going. Just letting yourself be on this journey of discovery, discovery. Ten is nine. Sink in eight. Drift in seven, six. Letting go. As you come down, you'll notice the details have changed. The rooftops. The landscape. All of the details are much different than they were just a while ago. But that's all right. Something is so very familiar and very comforting. You are comforted. As you drop down, six is five. At four, there is a body below you. And you're going right toward it, nice and slow. Nice and gentle. Three is two. And at one. Zero. Let yourself move gently into the body, occupying the body fully and completely. The soul and the body connect perfectly, like two puzzle pieces that fit perfectly with each other. I want you to look down down at the feet. Notice the details of the feet, how they have changed. What do you see? Are they barefoot? Are there shoes? 
I want you to notice the first patch of skin that you see. Is it the feet, the ankles, the arms? Look down at your skin and notice every detail. Notice the freckles, the birthmarks, the body hair. What do you see? Any scars? What do you see? The color of your skin? What do you see? Is the skin soft and young? Is it more weathered, aged? Good. Take in the next detail. What are you wearing? Look down at the clothes and notice what you are wearing. Do you recognize it in any way? How does it feel on your body, on your skin? Are you dressed for warmth? Are you dressed for cool weather, cold, frigid? Good now, I want you to notice your hands. Look down at your hands, look at the top of your hands and then turn them over and look at the back side palms, the patting of your fingertips, look at your nails, your knuckles, notice every detail in the hands. What do you feel when you look at these hands? What do you feel when you look at these hands? What story do they tell you? These hands have a tremendous story and it's yours. That story will come to you in an instant right now. There it is. It's all flooding right back to you now. Take it. Receive it. Download it into your heart. And allow your soul to remember. It remembers now. It remembers. Does this feel like the past to you? Or does this feel like a future lifetime waiting for you to live out? Look around. Who is with you? Do any of the people that are in and around you now feel familiar to you? Does it feel as if you are living in a lifetime with them currently, presently, or that you have before in other lifetimes? You are welcome to ask them if they play a certain role in your life that you are currently in on earth in the year 2020. Now look around at the landscape. Does this feel like earth to you? Does it look like earth? 
Could it be another planet? And if so, which one? From which galaxy? From which universe? Good. And do you have a gender in this life? Are you male or female? Or are you an androgynous being? What feels right to you? Good. And what has been your purpose in this lifetime? What have been your passions, your interests? Good. What does this version of yourself wish to share with the present version of yourself? What nugget of advice this self could go back and relive this lifetime again, how would this self have done it differently? Good. And finally, what final message does this self have for you, the present you? Good. Now as I count you from ten to zero, I want you to reimagine that silver cord, reimagine that silver cord, Reimagine that silver cord, and as you do, you lift up, up, out of the physical body you are visiting, up, out of the physical body you are visiting, and back up into that starry sky. Zero is one, two, three, four, five, all the way up, up, up into the starry sky. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and now you are floating up into the starry sky. From this place, this beautiful place, this wonderful, peaceful place, you have your silver cord. It is attached to the physical body on planet Earth of the year 2020. While you are in the sky, before you transcend and journey back to your present body, I want you to hook to one of those stars, wonderful message of gratitude to the self you just visited, and I want you to send that star shooting across the sky. Send that message right back to that beautiful soul you have either been or will be, that that being of light that is you. And as I count you now, 10 to 0 at 0, you will be back in your physical body on planet Earth of the year 2020, coming back down very slowly, gently, and peacefully, back down so calmly and assured. 10 is 9, you are at peace. Just allow that beautiful silver cord to bring you back nice and gently. It knows the way. 10 is 9, now at 8. At seven, drifting down through the atmospheres, down, back down toward the clouds. At seven, through the clouds and where the birds fly, you are still so high in the sky, but coming closer and closer, down toward the rooftop, down toward your body, all the way down. Seven, six is five. Now at four, you can see the rooftop 
just below you. As you move through the ceiling, you now find yourself right there, hovering over the body. Five, four, three, two, drop down nice and easy. Two is one into the physical body, lying so comfortably, so very relaxed. One is zero, and just like a perfectly fit puzzle piece, both aligning just right, the soul and the physical body back together again. One is zero. Zero is peace, peace and calm. And what a wonderful journey you have just been on. Wonderful journey to relearn, to rediscover, to redefine all that you are and all that you continue to become in this lifetime and others. Now you can slowly, very slowly, zero is one, begin to bring your conscious awareness back into the driver's seat at two, knowing you are in your physical body right here on planet Earth in the year 2020. Two is three, feeling relaxed and renewed. Three is four, now you can slowly begin to open your eyes for me. And at five, your eyes are now open and you are wide awake and I do welcome you back. Thank you for being here on this journey with me. Thank you for your courage to discover where you have been or perhaps where you are going. We can learn so much, so much, and all of that wisdom is right there inside of you. I'm here anytime you need if you'd like a custom journey, whether live through phone or video chat, I'd love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one. through any and all services of health and well-being or spiritual services just like this one. You can contact me at journeywithjanie.com and Janie is J-A-Y-N-I, no E. I can also create custom audio recordings, perfect for falling to sleep at night wonderful to eliminate insomnia or stress. So please reach out to me. I'm dedicating this journey to my longtime and dear client, Tony. I think he'll know why. So Tony, this one's for you. Everyone, have a wonderful, wonderful journey. You take wonderful, precious care. And until next time, Continue to journey.